Hello everyone, my name is Bubbles Zest and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video we'll be doing a guide to the achievements of Renzo Ronda Kazuma and Sunset Invasion. Let's begin shall we? Of course we have to start with the plan. Let's create an intelligence agency. Let's do electronics and industry research for start. We're going to do concentrated industry today, we can definitely need that more. For our army, we'll place it all on Guatemala border. For the reserve units, we'll change it to our cavalry template. We'll build more military factories and we have civilian factories available. It's sad to get rid of the close air support, but we can't afford it, so let's just put everything into guns. Now let's go to speed 5 and begin. For the church events, whenever they occur, you need a good balance. Now we can't do atheist state at the moment, so let's do a search of church. That guy died very, very early. Exercise your units so they're at least level 2. There we go, that's the plan done. And now let's exile our Shadow President. For our spy, whenever you get one, let's just send it to Washington DC. There, he's now exiled. Now let's purge our bureaucracy. Right, now let's arrest our Rogue General. Right, but first batch of political power, let's hire ourselves an elusive gentleman. There we go, we've arrested the general, now we'll do Legacy of Revolution. With radio done, make sure you grab transport ships, Mexico surprisingly doesn't start with them. It'll only come in handy for one naval invasion, but it's one naval invasion we have to do. For our other spy now, we're going to have them start to do boost ideology. The main reason for us to do that is to lock America out of its arsenal of democracy tree, which requires 95% support for the Democratic Party and the giant wakes. That will come in handy for us as that will stifle America. Make sure you continue to do concentrated too. Of course now we'll do the free civilian and military factories, always very nice. The sooner we do them of course the better and this is the soonest I think it's fair for us to do so. Transport ship done. We're going to do something interesting, something we've not done before. We're not going to be doing superior firepower today. I'm going to see if mobile warfare can be useful for this. I think it will be. Everything that's division speed, breakthrough, and auto gloss, negative modifier, definitely be very interesting. Planning speed is always nice too. We're at next 150 political power. Let's bump up to limited conscription. Let's go has a nice amount of population. And we can get a lot more cores. Right, here's Leon Trotsky. Now, hmm, I do like the org, but hmm, let's send him home. Okay, there we go. There's the military factories and stuff. Now we'll do Spanish Civil War refugees. We're going to get down via Support Spain's Loyalists, Bolivarian Alliance, Coastal Defense Plan, and then march southwards. I like doing. Bolivarian Alliance more simply so we can do liberate the Antilles. It's always nice to see whether or not they'll give in to you. Now that we almost have a gun from Zelda, let's start training more cavalry templates in the background. And then next time our political power, we'll start filling out our military high command. We're going to start with the infantry expert, then go to the cavalry genius and the army we group in. All very useful for us. We are playing a very dangerous line. We're going to go to Atheist State, so I am very hoping that we can get. Right, there's Bolivarian Alliance. I should note, we have started the time of for the Religious Revolution. We should hope to get a church event soon, but if not, we'll make a quick stop at Women's Suffrage to help us. And now, of course, we'll do Coastal Defense Plan and March Southwards. There we go, coastal defence plan, and there you go, very lucky, we got a church event, and of course we must give in to the church, it is good that anti-church violence has ended, and we've kicked out this revolution for the moment. It's a dangerous line to cross, but if you want to get down very quickly, that's unfortunately the way you have to do it. Also, we've marched southwards on its way, let's improve relations with Venezuela, Peru and Italy, obviously for Lend-Lease, it's always useful for more three of them. There we go, time for war. Now let's do Unify Centro America. There we go. And of course, start asking for Lend Lease. 
We're gonna go for Guatemala, then Honduras, then El Salvador. El Salvador's always the, the most difficult one, but we can do it. And now we'll annex Guatemala directly. Now just line up on Honduras and go for them. Another positive from this is obviously all the XP you'll get. We definitely need a good amount of it. Annex Honduras as well. Now we'll place our units back here so El Salvador will leave and break their entrenchment because they are very well entrenched right now. Yes, we could eventually beat them in the long run, but I'd rather not. There we go. They're moving out, which will definitely be nice. Now, with Unified Centro America done, we're actually going to make a brief detour to the gold shirts, good division recovery rate, and planning speed bonuses. Obviously, deploy your new cavalry units as soon as they're available, and increase the amount of units you're training. There you go, the US has plenty of non aligned support as well, so we'll just put our spies on quiet intel networks for the moment. There they go, now let's puff it out Salvador. That's what we're going to do with most of Central America, we're going to release them as puppets. We don't really want to garrison them to be completely honest with you. There they go. Also, edit it to the cavalry division to remove the artillery. And now we'll just make our way down. And don't forget also, you can't cross the Panama Canal that easily. So we'll put our one unit on a naval invasion into Panama City. Make sure your navy is on strike force before doing so. And there's the final one, now we'll directly take Panama. Now for our few infantry units, we'll leave them behind for the moment, but we'll send the rest of our army back towards Mexico. We just need to train up and get some units and then we'll go forward with Operation Just Cause. You see the US though thinks we're up to something. They'd be right, but then we might have to be a bit patient for them to move away. So we got time, and anyway, we need to get our units out, so whatever. There's the gold shirts. Let's do integrate the south while we have the time. If any of your puppets put out units, you might as well take them for the fight. They won't be the best units, but then again, here are our cavalry templates. There we go, let's integrate the south. Now we have around 70 days until our gun deficit is done. So let's make a small stop at control of the army, and then we'll do seize the Panama Canal. Now, America can, believe it or not, refuse this and uh, not go to war with you after doing so. Keep that in mind. Okay, there's a division for us. Well, that is weirdly big. 9,000 men. That, that will come in handy. Right, that's seize the Panama Canal. But as you can see, the US has garrisoned the border, so we're going to have to wait. It's a bit longer until we go. When they move away, it'll be our time, but as you can see, we're not getting through that blockade. There we go, look, America's moved away. Now it is time to activate Operation Just Cause. Of course, we'll send our units to the border first. Oh, don't actually put them on Baja California, place them like so, so the US has to take that. Right, let's let them move, and let's hit the button. Move these boys into position though. Operation Just Cause. There you go, we have seized the Panama Canal. Now we wait for America to declare war on us. Which they may, may not do. Well, there's the US to declare war on us, and of course they took the opportunity to get into position. Now, for us, we need to use whatever we can to get around the Americans' line and encircle them. It's the only way we'll win. Now, I would have hoped to have not needed to burst our way out like this, but unfortunately this is the way things are. Right, the US has invaded the Yucatan, we'll just use some units on that behind to hold them here. No need to fuss about this. But yes, whenever you find a gap in the US's line, you exploit it. Make sure you're careful when they naval invade you. 
and with every encirclement you make, make sure you begin to close it and take out the US's divisions. We need to be careful, slow. But every time as well, continue to extend. And once again, the Americans are dead. <laughs> That's pretty good. Our uh, losses were very favourable, like 120,000, so they're around 200 or 180,000. My practice game was half a million, so this is very good. Now, for the Revenge of Montezuma, we have to assume the old borders of Mexico, which I think were something along the lines of this. The achievement probably would have fired in, in the war anyway, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Now, of course, we should probably deal with the, the Americas one way or another, so let's puppet them. There we go. It would be easier to do this as a fascist nation, as we would only have to integrate them once, but whatever, we'll leave the Philippines for now. And there you go, we have the Loyalists. Loyal to who? Me. Let's get some garrison support off them. Now, for us, we just need to build in America, integrate them, and get get them away. Now, you could annex America another way, which is via the focus of redeemed Aslan, but we wouldn't get America's fleet, and I think that's a wasted opportunity. Let's see who backs off from the Antilles. France, no, no. The Loyalists too, unsurprisingly. <laughs> We puppeted them, so at least we got a free Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> right, we are now finally Catholic Mexico. I just sort of wanted to do Recanvas Revolution, but I'm really not going to do that now. Now, let's dismantle this faction of ours briefly. It will mean we save a bit of time. Now we can rescind the Mexican secession. Would have been funny to do. The revolution as it would have meant we wouldn't be fascist with elections but oh well it's not that important and don't worry we can always get this faction back there we go we've rescinded the, Amer the mexican secession there we go we've rebuilt our faction you know, let's make one quick stop to invite brazil and then we'll redeem aslan by the time it will be done, we'll be more than capable of annexing the United States. We're very close now, anyway. Having um, Brazil in our faction might be useful. Right, it's now time to redeem Aslan. Now we do have not we have not annexed the United States yet, so just out of a brief sense of survival, I'm just going to make a brief stop at international struggle. It's just because I've been using my political power to get people in the Mexico City Concord Agreement. I just fancy doing it, to be honest. It doesn't hurt, it just delays us a tad. And there's Brazil. Now, we're gaining one political power a day. 
and we need 300 to annex the United States. So by the time we start, the Mazlan will be a few days within our cusp of being able to annex them before the focus is done, which is good. Now let's finally, finally redeem Aslan. We'll get just enough political power to annex the United States in around 175 days. That will leave us plenty of time to annex them. And then we'll go after our European enemy, whoever that may be. It looks like someone's having a bad time. Right, time for us to annex the United States or Loyalists. There we go. Look at that. Huge. Now, once we have the political power, which we might definitely lose, we'll justify on Portugal. By Portugal, I'm not expecting the Allies to want to defend them. And it's good that we'll be able to justify soon as we are going to lose 300 political power. Now, just in case that the Allies do try to have some shenanigans, with the Portuguese, we shall send some of our units that we've inherited to help defend the border. As long as we have enough time to land and get out, it shouldn't be too problematic. Again, I'm hoping that Portugal won't get any aid. The rest will just go on the rest of the border. There we go. Now we'll plan our naval invasion after gathering up this big, big navy that we now have. It's the full US fleet. Lovely. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Now we'll send them all to the to one of Venezuela's ports, put our navy on strike force all over the sea zones. We should get the range that we need once they're all together. There we go, we now have our supremacy for all that we need. And yeah. It just saves having to go to Brazil and attrition, because look, the Amazon has no supply there, so we may as well just do a very, very long invasion. So we'll leave from Yucatan all the way into Lisbon, and we'll send a follow-up invasion into Porto. Why not? As long as we take control of one of the states, the achievement will fire for Sunset Invasion. There we go, two big naval invasions getting on their way. There we go, redeemed Aslan, lost a lot of political power which annoyingly actually cancels our justification. Oh well, we're going to have to wait now to get it back up around 100 or so days or the like. Annoying, but not much to do about that. Oh well, anyway, as you can see, we now have cores and all the land that Mexico once held. Which will be very nice for us. Now we'll just wait up, get our naval invasions ready, get our political power back into the green, and go. Yes, yeah, so if you want to see compliance, press F7 and then that will show you everything. Or you could do like F7. Now, as you can see, the resistance is going down in all the states we have caught. Oh, what have they done now? Oh, I couldn't be one video of mine without Bulgaria doing something. So Bulgaria has declared the third Bulgarian Empire early. But Lukov in charge of it this time, despite, you know, still having Boris as their Tsar. But at least we have political power again. But geniusly, they opened up a second front against Turkey. What a good job. Now let's just, now let's just wait until we have 10 political power. Don't need to cancel the justification again. There we go. Let's do Hispanic culture, which increases our mobilization speed, which if you don't know is just how quickly people want to join the army. No, they didn't. There are no loyalists. Oh, and there goes China. Oh dear. There we go, our justification is ready. Let's use it. No guarantees on them. We've left to be a bit of a while. Then they get 
all the way to Portugal, but should be okay. Portugal is down for the count. Now let's get some puppets out of a few of them. There we go. Now we likely caused the achievement of fire just because we held some of the states for a second, but to be absolutely sure, I'll take everything. Untake, I don't know, take Verde, and then puppet them there. There we go. That will pretty much ensure. Our control, there we go, that's Sunset Invasion, and of course no need to garrison such territory, so let's give it back. There we go. You know what, let's just wait that little bit longer, integrate all these nations, and then we'll be golden. Yeah, it's good we finished quickly, as you can see there, a revolution would have happened. And it was good also, all of these ships basically obliterated a Portugal's fleet. Let's see, a look at that. 12 destroyers. I know they're all early ones, but still. Oh, 21 subs. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> anyway, time for all the units to come home. Alright, we've got all the political power that we should need. Let's integrate all these countries. Oh, look at that. In 60 days, we'll have a load more cores. What also makes me funny is that we still, still don't have more than two research slots. I mean, we might be stupid, but we're not stupid enough to not burn down the United States. Let's get strike breaking, that's always nice. And there they go. Oof. You know, the best part is, because they finished most of the focus trees, we get a lot more factories, dockyards, it's great. Look at that, they've maxed out. Yes, we have cores all the way from California all the way down to the start of Columbia. I think that's a good place to conclude this achievement run today. So we have gotten the Revenge of Montezuma, Montezuma's Revenge, <laughs> and Sunset Invasion. I thank you for watching this video, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you need any suggestions for future videos in the comments below, as this itself was a suggestion. So, until next time everybody, this has been me, Bubble Zest, and goodbye.